this is just a follow-up to my last video because I received a couple of questions on could I demonstrate somewhat easily what the field is around this configuration. Here's these 12 LEDs that I was showing. What I want to do is I want to take and uh, cover these guys up so that they're not going to interfere with what we see. I'm going to use a simple detector, uh, 2 1N4148, an AV plug configuration or chain connected, however you want to look at it. Uh, red lead, plexiglass rod to insulate me as far as I can from it. I don't like you touching or having my hand in close proximity to a simple probe like this because your body is actually adding uh, pickup. Uh, it's acting as an antenna or a collector. So let's go ahead and look at the negative terminal of the battery. And we're just going to do this judgmentally by looking at the intensity of the lead. So there's your red lead. Let me zoom in there a little ways. Off of the negative terminal. Here is the exciter side through the 100k ohm resistor. Okay, we can see they're fairly equal. Let's go over here to the plus side and look at the difference here. I mean, I've addressed this issue years ago and of course finally figured out what it was. But you can see the low intensity on the positive terminal, but the higher intensity that we have on the negative terminal. Okay, so that's one indicator. Now we'll go down here to this foil that's on the side of the battery and show you the red lead. That's that capacitive piece of tape that's hanging on the side of the battery. And we'll go over here and we'll just close on the side of the bit of feedback. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. And now move close to the tower. And you can see that as we move around the tower that we actually can pick up a fairly good signal. Now again, notice that as I'm close to this tower and pull away from it, you can see that the field, maximum field, is not the closest to the tower. It's out about uh, right there. So actually the diodes are probably about an inch away. We can go down here and we can touch the output into the L3 that's driving the ledge. You can see, of course, we have a fairly high output there. We'll go ahead and take this cover back off of the LEDs. I don't know if we're going to be able to see anything or not, but as we move towards the LEDs, we can see that right in the midst of the LEDs, we will get some red light. Over here, we see practically nothing. Now, as we get to the coil again, we start picking up signal, but right here at the very end of the coil, no signal. But then when we go right back here to where the coil connects, we have signal. Okay, so anyway, I hope that that helps answer those questions. This is a very subjective way of doing it, obviously, but it does give you some indication of the field and where your high points are.